PPI Sports has always been a massive supporter of natural bodybuilding, so it only made sense for us and them to partner up. This episode of the podcast is brought to you by BPI Sports, and if you want to support them and us, use code NattyNewsDaily at checkout for some exclusive discounts off any of your orders. Enjoy the episode. All righty. Welcome back to another episode of the Natty News Daily Podcast. I'm here with Shannon Kelly today. Welcome, Shannon. How are you? I'm great. I'm so excited to be here. Uh, I'm nervously sweating as per usual. Sweat with Shan, but, right? Um, I'm excited. Yeah. It's the brand, Sweat right? Shan. For the love of sweat, it's a little bit deeper meeting than um, just sweating your ass off, but you know, that's included. We can definitely get into that then. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> So why don't you introduce yourself? Probably shouldn't need too much of an intro with your resume, but yeah, I so think have, have um, I think probably I start built from the beginning and, okay. then, and then chronologically. All right. Um, so just the basics, uh, Shannon Kelly, and I am owner and coach at For the Love of Sweat Fitness and Activewear. And um, I actually, I started in the industry that as, as, a, as a whole, uh, for about 15 years now. I just turned 37 on the 31st of May. So um, thank you. And I have, I think I have some skin in the game, but like, I, I just love continuing to learn and grow. And I mean, this is just like the journey of life. I mean, that's what, um, you know, for the love of sweat, fitness and activewear is. It's, uh, I actually, I tied in my fitness with my activewear company now, Zaya Active. So uh, you don't have to go very far to look good and feel good, you know? Um, but I started, let's say like 15 years ago, like bodybuilding or, but well, no, just fitness. I actually, my background, um, I grew up in, in like a, an active household, you know? So I, I think my background really comes from um, you know, just having that, that active, uh, you know, background with my family. I have two older brothers, five years older than me and then 11 months older than me. Um, so my Irish twin, he'll be actually, what's today's date? He'll be 38 on the eighth. So we're very close. And, uh, just growing up, like my mom was always cooking the Italian and the Irish and we were well-fed and, um, such a great childhood, just always every sport, my brothers, myself, um, two hand touch football on the street. I mean, it was so cool. I was gonna ask um, if you're playing sports you know, outside in the yard yeah, or in totally. the driveway. Like, yeah. You know, I'm like the the only daughter, the only the only girl and the and the youngest sibling, um, definitely picking worms and playing with G.I. Joe's with my brothers and stuff. <laughs> All they play with Barbies as well, you know. So it was definitely um we shared a lot and uh you know, being active was was a, a big part of our life. My dad was a baseball coach, he was at Ab- um, avid runner. My mom got me into aerobics and everything. So that's like really when I started, I think my fitness journey started with, um, as a whole it with, with the whole aerobics. And it was about that time. I mean, in the early, the nineties and things like that. And, uh, yeah, those like the leotards and scrunchy socks, it was like right up my alley. So Kinda, so you guys started, that. even though with your athletic background, a lot of people with an athletic background talk about how the athletic background kind of got them into, yeah. you know, into the weight room because, oh, I want to lift to be better at the sport. But you're just like, you're just kind of taking on a new activity no, with, with I, it I guess and that, taking you know, on and a new. I kind of, I, I think about it, you know, now that like we're talking about it, I think about it, I'm like, it was just kind of, it, it came natural. Like you just, it, it's different these days. It's like, we were outside, we were doing things and um it helped that I grew up with two older brothers because I was literally the what do you call it the guy's girl you know what I mean so it's, I still think I'm kind of like the guy's girls now and it just um it just felt natural it just flowed and I've always kept that activity up um I was a cheerleader for forever which a lot of people don't think they're like oh you probably did gymnastics my thighs are huge you know like I got a lower body I'm like it's not that big uh, you know, my, my legs aren't that big, but my brothers used to make fun of me. And they're like, those things are like bomb, you know, <laughs> <laughs> they call it like thunder thighs and the thunder and the lightning. And I'm like, well, you know what? Now I respect that. Uh, yeah, I definitely went through phases where I was like, oh, I don't want these legs. And, and now um, you're like, I kind of like yeah, that. Yeah. Now <laughs> I'm like, yes. Tell me that all day. <laughs> I'm like, how do they get bigger, man? 
Um, so yeah, I was uh, definitely a cheerleader. I always wanted to play soccer. I mean, I still, I say to this day, I'm like, I always wanted to be a volleyball player. So there was just like an active lifestyle was always there. So, and then I did Taekwondo. I got into Taekwondo. Gosh, um, I got up to a brown belt. Um, and then I think like the, the weightlifting, I mean, don't mark my words, like the years and stuff, like, gosh, like I say to my friends, I'm like, I need to take ginkgo biloba for my memory. Cause I'm, I'm not, I'm not the elephant. <laughs> my memory is <laughs> not like the elephant, you know? Um, but I did, yeah, I did cross country track and field. Um, but it was mainly cheerleading for forever. Um, and anything on the side was just like, you know, if it fit into my schedule, it fit into my schedule, but that was always fun. Um, but yeah, it, it led me into the more like this, this the group instruction. Uh, I started teaching classes, you know, um, turn this off. I've got notifications coming on here. Um, <laughs> ding, ding, ding. Yeah. Yeah. It's, uh, it's actually Chris, my, my coach, Chris Barakat. Yeah, I know Chris. Yeah. So, yeah. So he's just messaging me. Um, so yeah, group instruction, and then that led into personal training, and and gosh, it was so funny. I just passed my very first client in Berkeley Heights here in in New Jersey, and oh my gosh, like it's still if you remember, like she used to pay me by check, sixty five dollars every time I went. I'm like I'm driving like forty minutes to her, and she was like she could barely walk, you know, and like I really oh, it's just like so near and dear to my heart. I'll never forget that. And uh, my girlfriends and I were going to the beach actually. And just this past Saturday, we passed by and I was like, oh my gosh, that's where she lived. I'm like, I wonder, would it be weird if I knocked on her door? And then I'm thinking, well, shit, how old is she now? <laughs> God forbid I go to the door and it's like, oh man, you know, it's like, oh, don't do it. But um, yeah, it, it just led into, it just felt right. And finally, um, you know, through experience and, and certifications and things, I was finally like, you know what, I'm going to, LLC. And that was in 2014. And I haven't stopped since. And it's really like, that's my bread and butter. You know, people ask me like, Oh, what do you do? And I'm like, well, what do you think I do? I think <laughs> I look, I think I look like I, what I do, you know, like, but you know, you can't judge a book by its cover. Um, but yeah, that's, that's it in a nutshell. So I you tend were, to you, you I tend were, to ramble. So you need to calm me down yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, do, I do i could do similar too so yeah um so with that you were you were teaching obviously instruct or teaching coaching uh yeah. training all that sort of stuff so how did your, your and then, individual and then journey trans did it transition out of that or how, how did that oh i um i i was teaching i mean i was burnt out after teaching like i would teach two three classes a day you know how that goes and it's just like oh my gosh i think i i don't even have pictures back then because you really didn't, you didn't have the phone to do it. Right. I don't even think I had a flip phone, but I mean, I just, there was a stage in my life where I was like, you are over, over training. I mean, I was so skinny. My, my, my parents can be like, yeah, I remember that. Like, it was literally like, I probably had an apple a day. It was, it was very disordered. I was oh, like, wow. Oh my gosh. Right. Um, but I loved it, you know, but it was just like, it was obsessive. And, uh, I think until I backed out of that and really, um, it was about the, about the like mid nineties is when I really was like, bodybuilding is my shit. Like the, the one piece velvet suits were just like Shannon all over it, you know? <laughs> And, um, I, I, my, my brother, my, my oldest brother was dating, um, a girl, Kirsten. And I, I just talked to her the other day. It's so awesome how I keep in touch with people, but, um, she was competing in the MPC and I loved like, you know, figure back then, like, you know, Nicole Wilkins and, and everyone, I mean, even the fitness, like Jen Hendershot. I mean, they're just old school, you know, or not old school, but like now it's old school. I was just like in all, like their bodies are just amazing. Their bodies, their, their determination. It's just the courage to like step on stage and do that. And I was like, I want to do that. I actually said, I was like, I want to be on the Olympia stage, but then, you know, then you learn more about steroids and things like that. I'm like, all right, I'll go into natural bodybuilding. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, Kirsten really, like it was probably 90, 
98 something, 97, 98. And I was like, I want to be like you, you know, I'm a little man. I'm like, I want to be like you, but I didn't step on stage till 2014. It took me that long to get like over my shit. <laughs> Excuse my what, friend. So yeah. What was the, that transition it, period like, or that long period? Like, was it like, I don't know. I don't, I don't want to, I don't know if I'm ready. I don't know if I'm, or is it like, cause that doesn't seem like your personality based on our brief conversation. You think? I love <laughs> yeah, that. Thank, you thank you seem to jump that. straight into things. So I'm, I'm kind of surprised. Thank you for saying that. I, I, um, I appreciate that because I've, I've definitely, you know, growth is, is the best thing to happen. And I, I definitely have made a lot of progress since then. And, um, the hardest thing I, I, I always, I always, I like to go deep. I have like, I have a deep sense to me, like surface, surface level stuff is like, you know, um, kind of gets boring to me. So uh, I just was like into being, you know, like a little recluse, like not a recluse. I had a great upbringing. I just, I remember like, I'm like, where's all my money? I worked at a gym for eight years. I opened it up the local powerhouse. Shout out to everybody there because they know, like, if they're if they're listening, they know they're like, yep, they were there eight freaking years opening that place, five a.m. And we worked out, we went out, and that was life, and that was life. It was like we, I, I don't regret anything, but like, damn, why didn't I start sooner? I remember when I was prepping, first prep, I wanted to. Uh, it was two thousand fourteen. I stepped on stage, but I first started prepping myself in two thousand twelve. And then I got into a relationship and I went to Cancun instead. <laughs> so <laughs> that was my priority. You know, my priority was like, Ooh, sun. Like I'm a sun worshiper. I love the beach. You know, I was like, yes, we'll go to Cancun. We've just been dating for two months, you know? Um, so that was, I mean, that's basically it. My priorities weren't straight. My priorities weren't, you know, it was, it was more of like a, it was the dream that I didn't think could be touched. You know, the bodybuilding was like, ah, I really love it. I, I have a passion for it. I really wasn't tapping into like what was, what was, what really, what did I really value about it? You know, and um, as it got closer and I grew up a little bit and I was like, you know, I, I really, I need to do this. I'm at that, at that stage. I'm like 2014. I'm like, oh, I'm getting old. I got to step on stage. It's like, here we are. Just like, got to pull the trigger eventually. Kind of, old. Yeah. So, so it sounds like you had a, a little bit of a value shift. Is that sort of what led into it? Or the, I mean, maybe, you know, it led into it, but maybe jump into that a little it bit. It definitely was like, it was like a declaration to myself of, of like, what are you, what are you holding back for? I'm very much a, a self-sabotager. And that was like what I grew up with. And I think it's just, um, um, I think childhood, like, you know, some traumas and things like that. And uh, I, I've always been an expressive person, but that kind of thing, like stepping into that unknown of bodybuilding was like the start of something spectacular for me. And I was like, this, this feels great. This is what I've been wanting to do since, you know, sitting on the Walgreens floor, reading magazines, you know, of all the bodybuilders. Many included because I was like, oh, they're they're jacked. They're pretty cool. I'm gonna try that workout. I think we all did that, right? <laughs> I'm gonna do that workout tomorrow and I'm gonna be sore for a month. <laughs> I love it. I love it. So your yeah. first show experience, it sounds like you had a, a very good experience. What was it like stepping on stage for the first time and and kind of finally after bodybuilding and loving bodybuilding and buying bodybuilding for so long to finally step on stage yourself? Was it it was it, it, I still feel like it's like, like I was like a little girl. I look at pictures. I'm like, oh my gosh, you were such a little girl. Um, but what an experience. I, I went in there just knowing like, this is what you have to do. You're, you just, you, you need to shine. You're so happy to be here. And I literally was like, that was my answer to everybody. They're like, oh my, congratulations, everything. Like, how do you feel? I'm like, I'm just so happy to be here. Like, it's so corny. <laughs> I was just so happy and like I didn't expect a trophy I didn't expect to win I was just like holy crap I'm finally doing this um I mean all the I, I didn't even measure food I didn't know how to do any of that crap I was just like going by how I felt I was losing fat and 
I fit into my suit. And I was like, you look cute. Go for it. You know, <laughs> like just do it. I didn't have a posing coach, no nothing. I mean, back then you just kind of, you winged it a little bit more, right? Yeah, you just went um, for it. You... I just went, I just, I just went for it. And it sounds so like, that's it. And I'm like, that's it. I remember working in uh, a dental office and they were always like, Shannon, wow, you're so dedicated. I bring all my food and you know, and, uh, any dental office on there and they're like oh they're they're cleaning out your cavities but in the back they got a bunch of cake and crap you know um but they're just they everyone was just so supportive and like wow you're finally doing this and it just it just led me into you know staying with it and um you know the people along the way they just you slowly gravitate to the people that are gonna like be there like the people that were there in 2014 are still here like rooting me on and it's so cool like um every time I step on stage or you know since then I feel like I have so much support there's so much uh people that come out of the woodwork I say like I haven't talked to people in years or you know Facebook and things like that keep you together and they're just like Chan like I remember you I remember you back in powerhouse like I remember you back you know when you said that you wanted to to be a professional bodybuilder and I'm like y'all I guess that's how it starts <laughs> Yeah, everyone, you know? it, it all starts somewhere and you got to dip your toes in the water and, and see what happens. And you know, it is amazing that the connections that you make through, through this sport. Um, I, I've, I've done that. I have not been in the sport as long as you have, but it, it is, it is amazing. You know, what just dipping your toes in the water, you know, can result in, and the, the connections you can make. And the I feel like with, bo- do you feel like with bodybuilding that um, it's like a, it's like a make or break, but like you're just, you either love it or you don't like there's no in between or or maybe like competing because i you know i i talk to people you know all the time where it's like well you know like competing is not you don't just wake up one day and say you know i'm, I'm gonna step on stage like there's a process yeah yeah you, you know i mean there's a process to everything but it's not just like it's not a weight loss contest it's not just like oh i want to get in shape it's like no you're gonna be you're gonna be you're going to be very lean if you do it right. You know what I mean? You, like need, you need to really stage, prep it. Yeah. It's, it's yeah, a longer you know? preparation. It's not like, you know, another sport where you, Oh, I can be ready for the sport and compete tomorrow. If I want, it's like, nah, yeah. I, right now, I, I, I can't compete tomorrow. I like, I need a long diet. If I need, if I want oh to, compete. Goodness. it's very different. Yeah, it is. It is yeah. very different. I love it. Yeah. But yeah, yeah everyone, it's... everyone has a little bit of a different kind of, connection to the sport and, and mentality towards the sport um and lo- different love or some people like the stage more than others some people just like the process more than other, you know there's i think there's there's a lot of different i think types of people i i've found in the sport i've grown I, i've personally grown to love the process more I think when you first start out, it's, it's like, oh, I want to win. I want a trophy. I mean, I got all, you know, my medals here in my office and stuff. And I look at it and I'm just like, damn, like, you got to give yourself a pat on the back. Like you, you definitely earned it, but it doesn't, you know, it doesn't just come. Sometimes it doesn't, doesn't come naturally. You got to build the skills just like anything else. Like when I, I work with my clients, I, I work with a lot of lifestyle clients and I try to, you know, always express that, you know, just because I'm a competitor, I'm a, I'm a world champion. You know, I can say it's like the same, I practice the same habits and, and skills that you would need to be, you know, light up your journey and keep, you know, moving forward. I think, um, you know, when a lot of people look at bodybuilding or see it, you know, mainly, you know, a lot on social media, it's just like, oh gosh, like that just, you look great, but like, man, you're starving yourself. And I'm like, that's a part of it, but also you got to eat. Like, I'm just like, oh, I don't want to eat anymore. You know, yeah, you got to eat when you're not hungry. You know? like, <laughs> yeah. You, you know, there's just, there's a, there's a lot to it than what, what people see. And I, I, um, I just, I love to share the bits and pieces that I can with like more of like my, you know, everyday people that look at you and they're just, they're like, wow, like, I'm not going to do what you're doing. So forget it. You know, when I like, when I talk to potential clients, they're like, well, you, you know, some of them are, are intimidated by it. I'm like, don't be, because I'm going to share, you know, the, the tidbits that I can, that you can 
use within your life. I mean, life is the journey. You have to like, that's the process. Um, and I think when I first started, you know, when I first started competing, it was just like, I just, I just want to do it. It was just like, I just want to step on stage. I want to be jacked and tan. And that's what I did. It was so, <laughs> it was so innocent. And now I'm like, I want to be jacked and tan for the rest of my life. <laughs> we all do uh, I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm more pasty than anything but <laughs> oh my gosh I'm a, I always say I'm a different person when I'm tan it's just when I don't care you know <laughs> it is yeah I remember I remember coming uh in my my first season uh because I lived at home at the time and and I came home with the tan I'm like oh I'm gonna go get my tan and I came home and my mom's like oh my god you are dark she's immediately it's, taking yeah. pictures of me yeah, and yeah, sent yeah. it to my aunt like look how dark he is like, it's great your teeth are all white you know oh, yeah just like you don't care you look like a oompa loompa you're like this is just great it's awesome uh, yeah it's, and now like every time like i go to shows like i see the tan i smell the tan i'm like this is just, this is just something about it. it's, it's like, like a, I it's love, like love a it. sick it's like a sick love for it you're like, <laughs> i know you're like, you smell so good. <laughs> <laughs> you smell like shit. I love it. <laughs> but anyway, yeah. so getting into your, your competitive history. So you started competing in 14. Kind of maybe walk me through where you went from that starting there to, you know, your 2021. Yeah. You know. So I, um, so 2014, I stepped on stage at IMBF. Uh, it's actually in my middle school. Shout out to the Minettis uh in my middle school so it was so like I was like no this was perfect right um stepped on as novice figure I think I have the biggest trophy I've ever had I think they need they need to bring this back <laughs> they need to bring that back okay I, I want another one of them <laughs> uh <laughs> you know now that now that you know I'm in I'm, I'm winning it's like I, wanna, I don't I don't want anything around my neck I want to hold this thing up um but so 2014 and then I took a hiatus again uh, until 2017. I stepped on the MTC stage. I don't, it wasn't, you know, I don't regret anything. I did, I did well. Um, did you also compete figure in that, in that show yeah, too? Yeah, stick with figure. Figure is, is my ish. Like figure is the unicorn of bodybuilding. No hate against anyone else, but they're the unicorns of bodybuilding. It's just so pretty. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> so um, yeah, so 2017, I did two NPC shows and um, I heard a coach from online. I actually, so from 2014 to 2017, I definitely was in a lot of turmoil, like life. I just, uh, there was the good and the bad, right? But there was, it was, there was a lot of, there was a lot of unhappiness and I'm just so not a not happy person. So it felt really uncomfortable. I was in um, just putting myself in like bad relationships. It's really like, I love love. And I was like, I was taking all the wrong guys and like nothing against them, but it just didn't, you know, it just wasn't working. And it was like, it wasn't aligning with my values. And eventually I, you know, you got to go through, got to go through hell to get, you know, back up there. So um 2017 was like, I think, what, what was I? I? I remember my birthday. I was at my heaviest weight. And it's not about the weight, but especially for a woman, you're just so damn uncomfortable. And I'm like, not only am I uncomfortable in my body, I'm uncomfortable in my mind. Everybody's telling you, like, oh, you look great, Shannon. You look great. You're still so fit and you're so this. And I'm like, I feel like a pea a POS, you know what I mean? I, I was like, I just don't feel the way that you're, that you portray me, you know? So it really was like, like you said, like, I, you seem like I just get it done kind of person. I was like, I'm doing it. My birthday, that's it. I'm starting prep. It was the summer of um, 2017. And I stepped on stage at Easterns. Uh, so that was like more in the fall. And then um, I just, it just, led me into just being okay this is what I want to do this is what this is what I want to continue because I do feel my best pushing myself to this limit or you know uh there is no limit you know and I was like I have this potential that I feel like people keep reminding me of and I need to fulfill that myself I need to truly believe that and that's where you know self-sabotage was in and things like that. And I was just like, you know, like, stop doing this. Like, you're only 
you're only hurting yourself. And once I got over, you know, like the bullshit that I was telling myself and just, um, you know, backing out on some things and just breaking, you know, promises to myself, I was like, this is it. Um, so we really, yeah, I guess just, just don't, you can't give up on yourself. You can't, uh, the, the hole can only go so deep. <laughs> Let's just say that. And uh, so then 2017, yeah. And then, and then the end of my second show, 2017, is when I linked up with Chris. And now we are the dream team. So we're not going back anywhere. Like 2017 and beyond. Like he is literally uh, just a godsend. Like I love him to death and I can't ask for a better coach. So uh, 2017, 2018, um, 2018, I turned pro, WNBF. And um, was that your yeah. first dabblings with the IMBF, WNBF? In 18 was 2014 then in 2017 i went to mpc okay so you did your four okay gotcha yeah gotcha. and then um 2018 i was like no let's go back to natural bodybuilding and um yeah i went to uh turn pro at, at natural mania and uh you know the local shows like new york and things like that and then we went to massachusetts and um God, I met, you know, my girlfriend, Emily there and it's like, oh, we just, you know, competing without her just feels so weird, you know, um, it was, it's really, it's been such a ride. And, and then, uh, 2019, I didn't compete. Um, it was a little, it was a little rough. I wasn't as focused. Again, I got into a relationship. Oh, geez. <laughs> get into these get into these relationship with these guys that just don't align with my with my, my values yeah with my lifestyle it's like lifestyle but just um you know relationships take just as much work as you know bodybuilding or you know just it just takes uh better communication so uh i have to give myself a pat on the back i definitely communicate a lot better now i know what i want <laughs> i know <laughs> I know what I want. I know Acquire what I need, skills so. along the way, right? Yeah, you know. And then, um, so 2019, 2020 was a wash. I just, I sometimes I'm like, wait, what did we do in 2020? Did, did you but, try prepping in 20 or or, or no? No, 2020 was actually your, that the, was your the, best decision. The pandemic, the pandemic actually treated me really well. You know, I was home. I was, uh, you know, I was focused. I, I you know, I remember talking to Chris, and I'm like, yo, I am, a, I'm a different person. And it was because I was really tan because I had more time to sit outside and be with my clients. But I was like, I don't, like I feel just like almost almost like I, I just started over. It was it was weird. I was like I left like all the the crap in the past. And 2020 was, you had was social so, distance so good from all the to people me. you didn't like. I, maybe <laughs> you know I was just like it like it really was it was good. I mean mentally I was. I was very, very good to myself and, um, it just, it, that's I'm good. Cause a lot of people had day. trouble yeah. during, during that, right. during that lockdown. I, I had, Which kind of I had a similarly like, good wait, experience. Should I be like everybody else? You know, I had so. a similarly good experience, but for different reasons, but oh yeah, we, we could get into that another time. I don't <laughs> need to take that into a tangent, but very different reasons, but pandemic was, was great for me. Yeah. Well, yeah, which kind of weird how that works, but um, so you took, yeah, it took was, off 2020. So were you spending most of your time, you know, in a surplus and, and growing and pushing your weight up or what? I wasn't, I was, I was, I was little, I was going to say skinny, but I don't use, like using that word skinny, but like I was little, like I, and when you're a bodybuilder, you're like the worst thing somebody can say is like, Oh, you look little. Like, okay. Like I was little. I look at the show like, and you hear I someone say lean. you're skinny. You're like, yeah, no, I'm like, I don't I'm not like that word. <laughs> okay. Jeez. I'm like, don't lean. say that to me. <laughs> like, gosh. Um, but I was, I was, um, I wasn't in the gym. I was, you know, training at home. Uh, I was eating more intuitively and it just felt good. My digestion was on point and I just, you know, just mentally and physically like in tune but I definitely wasn't as, um, when I connected with Chris again, I said, you know what, I'm, I'm ready to prep. Uh, I had my time off, you know, let's get into that, that off season, uh, surplus. Right. And that's when I was like, Oh crap, I gotta, 
I'm going to eat a lot more. Sure. Uh, Stuff in your so face. yeah. So then it was definitely, you know, a different phase there, but it works. It worked out well. My body, my body responds well to food. And I'm, I'm a very much like I'm, 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 I don't want to say I'm hardcore in the gym, but like I get shit done and I enjoy it. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, like not just, I have, I have a good time at the gym. <laughs> I have a good time at the gym. So you should I mean, if that. you hate it, you're never going to stick. You know? with it, so it's yeah. like, yeah, yeah, you're right. You're right. So it's definitely, you know, uh, getting back in the gym and, and eating more, was just like, woof. like, I mean, you know, when you're just like, wow, I feel this feels good. I don't feel like I'm dying out, you know, from the inside out. I didn't realize how much I really wasn't eating a lot, but, um, you know, it was just, it was different goals at the time. So, um, yeah, led into 2021 season and we had big goals. Um, actually I I missed out 2018. Why am I, you know, this is where I should have wrote these things down. Um, but 2018, I got fourth in the world. So that, I missed that. How the hell did I miss that one? <laughs> Skip so right over it. Right? Skip right over all the good stuff. You see, like, I just, I just love it. It's like, it wasn't, it wasn't about like winning. It wasn't about the trophies and stuff, And but it does count. So now it's like, yeah, I want to win. Like I'm the reigning champ. Like I'm, I best give it my all. Um, I don't want no what ifs, no, you know, dot your I's and cross your T's um but yeah 2018 so that was I got fourth in the world and oh my gosh Dan if you go into my Instagram all right you don't have to do this but if anyone watching this if you go into my Instagram this is so embarrassing there's a like what are those the featured things whatever the circles there in your Instagram Mm -hmm. there's my 2018 journey to the stage okay (laughs) I had the worst trouble getting there. We had a, a snowstorm on the day, getting to LA. It was horrible. I barely made it. I can't believe I made fourth in the world. I can't believe it. I mean, you know, thank God. Like I was just like, so like, holy crap, I did this. Doing yeah. all that while peaking is- <laughs> Holy crap. I, I mean, I look back at the stories and I'm just like, wow, how pathetic. You're just so, <laughs> you're, you're crying. Like I've never seen myself cry so- you know, especially when you're like emaciated looking and you're half tan. I got no food, no water. I was like, oh my gosh. Like, it's, it's I'm sure privilege. Chris so, helped you keep it together. Oh my God. He was there already. He's like, why don't you come in here? Flights were canceled. I was like, oh my gosh. Uh, it took me over like two days to get there. It was horrible. Oh, um, yeah. So, but then you come up on top. So, so you took fourth in the world. So you're like, okay, fourth in the world. I took fourth in the world under tough circumstances and yeah. probably and you know, like yeah and, and chris and i further. will say like you know we t- took fourth in the world and i was probably at 70 percent you know like you definitely uh you know before i left i was like oh you're crispy you know like i felt skinny as hell you know the, that feeling is just like oh my gosh like i gotta fill out i love a good i love a good you know skin full splitting muscle feeling. body yeah. yeah right like that that like fullness it's like oh man it's amazing um but yeah so 2018 uh we knew that was the goal I was like I am not I'm not fourth in the world because if that you know and I was thinking not to like look back in the past but you know if that trouble didn't happen oof, I think I think I might have I, I would have had it I would have had it you know so that was always in my mind like well if I got fourth doing this I'm like I'm like f this I'm not going for third I'm not going for second. I'm going for first. You know, that's where I belong. You know, it's not, and I'm, I'm far from a conceited person or anything like that. You know, it's just, I finally stepped into my sovereignty and like, you know, 2021 and just having such a different mindset. I, I stepped into such like a, a higher, uh, I don't, you know, higher uh, state of mind that was just like, you got this. And, and then when Worlds came around in 2021, you know, I was just like, it felt so right. Like it, it was, I, I can't describe it any differently. Like it just, I woke up and I was like, damn, I feel good. I wasn't, the butterflies weren't there. I mean, woke I woke up the morning I, of, or I nervously day, sweat all the time, but, um, are you talking for, about? for 2021 Worlds, 
what you what know, day in that, in that 2021 world so you, you said you woke uh, up feeling good like I like woke up, the morning so of up, or yeah the morning okay. of i was like damn like we're we're doing this but even i mean you know and like the way that chris works he's like we spilled over i was like i was like are you sure still like you know no matter how many preps we go through i don't question him but it's so like you know it's it's like a it's like excuse my friend it's like a mind fuck when you're like wait but how am i gonna be like you, you know like tighter Regret, tomorrow yeah. like are you sure this is gonna happen and you still like you know you, you don't want to be nervous about it but I, i'll never stop thinking that way and i told him i'm like you're stuck with me but like i'm never gonna not be like all right no well, i trust you i trust this process i just need this to happen again and again <laughs> you know <laughs> like spilling over is so scary uh but it always works out It'll yeah, and, I, and I know that I know that feeling because one day out from Mr. America last year, I, I work with Josh. I don't know if you knew that oh, okay. or not. Yeah. So, oh, I didn't know. Yeah, I love yeah. Josh. yeah, yeah, yeah. Him and I, him and yeah, I are good I'm friends. Actually, I'm, gonna he go, works. I'm gonna go visit them uh, soon. Oh, I, Down I want in Tampa to in the next month. Yeah, yeah. That'll be a yeah. Good we trip. should all, we should all connect. That would be awesome. That would be dope. That would be dope. Right. But uh, um, yeah, I, okay. I had a similar experience though, like because the day before I looked like shit. <laughs> I cool. so we're, we're back. Yeah. We're back. I go, through, I go through like points where I'm like, you know what? Like I consider myself like kind of like a shy person, but then once I get to talk, and it's like we just talk. You just just cool. go and you, you, yeah. you, you're talking about something that you know you have a mutual interest when in. it's like it's just easy. You just yeah, you know, it's it flows. Just, it yeah, flows. it definitely it flows. But yeah, you were saying. Um, so Josh, you look like shit. Yeah, the day before I was just a spilled watery mess <laughs> the, the, the day before. Uh, and I was I, I had a, I, I had a lot of stress just in general. Like my my trip was rough out there. I got stuck yeah. in traffic. I'm like having to pee every 30 minutes and like I'm stuck in Philly traffic it's and stressful. I got there late oh. and I got to bed late, which I'm like diligent about my sleep schedule in general like off-season <laughs> prep like, i'm always working like, on that so like, i could probably learn like from a you. couple days before a show it's like yeah that's like not fun but then and then the next day i had like work things going on and people were calling me i'm supposed to be off but people are like calling me and harassing me for work so it was just like all this all this stress and stuff and i just looked like a watery mess and i was like oh no <laughs> <laughs> but it's a horrible uh, feeling actually josh is probably more stressed than i was i was kind of like okay well you know i can just kind of get all the outside stuff to you know under under control because i knew i could get it under control i was settled in the airbnb i could kind of get the phone away and tell people to f off and you know not yeah, really okay. but ignore um, that and meanwhile, Josh is like, yeah. what are you doing, man? Josh, Josh is you? like, <laughs> behind the scenes, he told, he told me afterwards, like, dude, I was so stressed. I'm like, really? You didn't yeah, see me? Yeah, because he doesn't want to tell you that, of course. <laughs> like, yeah, that's because be he was worst. behind the screen. He's like, he was, he was freaking out. But, uh, no, it, it turned, oh, it turned out really good. We, we pulled it together. I tend to get a little bit of like a, like, quote unquote, load look anyways. I don't know if you've heard that term. Like, the, I think Cliff Wilson coined it. Um, yeah when I peak so that was kind of not that abnormal but the next day I look on point and crisp. yeah good yeah Josh brought me in but yeah I, I know that experience of you know uh, uh oh this is this is this is not what we're supposed to look like like and we're we don't have that much time but it's definitely it's mind-boggling and that's what like with bodybuilding you know I mean it's it's People say, okay, you know, it's so much more mental than it is physical. I mean, it's definitely a balance of both. But when you get down to that point, or I mean, I don't, I don't know where the hardest. Like, what would you say? Like, the, is there a hardest point in prep? I mean, I don't know. Am I? Do I sound stupid asking that? Like, the is hardest... there a hardest point in prep? It's just, I, I think it's definitely. Again, it's not black and white. It could be. It's probably. You know, some people can think. For me, it's probably like. I'd say like two or three weeks out probably yeah. i would think because it's like if you're a week you're out anything, it's like yeah. a week out i can i can well yeah, you just, I, you just gotta... I said two i think three weeks out because your last week is your peak week yeah. but then when you're when you're two weeks out it's like i only have to push for another week and then i have a peak so it's like kind of like i think it's I a bit know. more like the the patience of peak week you're like oh i just you know you want to get on stage like you're still like you're like all right this this process is over um, I think peak week is just 
for me, it's drinking all that damn water. Oh, that was, that was horrible. You know, just eating and drinking at the same time. And this sounds, maybe this sounds so stupid to people, but eating and drinking so much at the same time is just not my idea of fun. And I'm a really fun person. <laughs> like, it's just not, I can find fun in anything. And that part of it is just like, I got to drink the rest of that. And then I have to go pee every 20 minutes. Like, oh, it was, yeah, I, I, know. I just, I, like, honestly, I'm like, I just, I want to just, be be naked and just stay in the bathroom just, just leave me alone stay. you know like just don't put clothes on me don't do anything just don't talk to me i just i'll have to go pee every second every time i turn around i gotta pee and it's um, it's, it's actually kind of weird because it's out of your normal routine too because like you know you're you're mid up you're adding you know or at least for me i was drinking more water and you know eating more food and you know yeah. it's just like different and then like you know as you know like traveling and you're a different environment it's like it's just like kind of a a cluster a little bit to a certain like extent it, that's what yeah it's like people people ask like why do you put yourself through this i'm like ah, it's great because it's cool it, it all it all works out you know um it's i'd rather be through that storm than anything else <laughs> oh for sure for sure yeah um but yeah so we uh but you pulled it Jackson. together for your, you know, by, by showtime. So yeah. did you do anything in that morning then or anything like that? Um, we kept it, we kept it simple. We kept it, um, you know, eating foods that agree with me and just um, being mindful of, you know, I was TMI. I'm always like, I got to If I don't go to the bathroom, I'm not stepping on stage. <laughs> That's like. Did, did Chris have you're you particular uses... about you're particular about your sleep. I'm particular about going to the bathroom. Did like, Chris if I have go you in the bathroom? Uses... I don't feel well. Smooth like, move. <laughs> no, it just it just naturally. I was like, oh, I he didn't have you use the smooth move. I thought that was a Chris Bear. Oh no, 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 it is, it is. Don't, don't. No, we can't say all these secrets. Oh, on sorry. Here. Shh, crazy? Shh. <laughs> but it doesn't work for me. I'm like, you know, I was like, Chris. I was like, all I need is like a sip of a monster. And I'm telling you, it was like, <laughs> I was like, he's like, that really works. And I'm like, yeah, I was like, as long as my stomach's not going to distend or anything like that. I said, it literally, I just need that little stimulation. And it's just, I'm good to go. Three, I got good. out of the bathroom and I was like, the champ is here. The champ is here. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, it's the little things in life that make you happy, you know? <laughs> you, gotta have, you gotta have fun with it. Mm -hmm. you know if you keep that environment low stress i mean it shows up in your physique too you know it's very it's very true it was it was uh in vegas this year the WMBF the world championships was in vegas our first time in vegas and there could be like a, a lot of hustle and bustle i mean you know how shows go and uh the rules and vegas. don't do this and don't do that yeah and in vegas they had you know even um you know i just remember in the the actual uh auditorium it was freezing it was freezing because we it had like some magic guy was there and his his equipment was there and it needed to be like a certain temperature so we're like oh my god we're we're we're, we're literally freezing i'm like i'm like sweating in my armpits and like they're icicles you know this is just like how am i supposed to get a pump you know then you're thinking about that um but yeah it, it was just what an experience where i was so like the clarity that i felt was just like you're it like, this is it. This is what the world wants to see, you know? And I just, I just felt so great about myself. And I just, I, I couldn't feel, I couldn't like feel any more blessed to have the people that were there for me. I had some girlfriends come and, and, uh, you know, having Chris there and just, you know, other, uh, competitors. And they were just, it's just such a great community. It really is. The, the WMBF is definitely, um, a great community and I represent for the East coast, so. East coast, East coast, you know? <laughs> I don't know whether uh, East Coast or Midwest. I think Pittsburgh, yeah, right? more, Pittsburgh more of a, uh, it's it's geographically more East Coast, but yeah. it's culturally more Midwest. I'm a, I'm I'm I like the Midwest vibe. We'll keep you on the East Coast. We'll keep you on the East Coast. <laughs> yeah, we need we need more of us. Um, but uh, yeah, it was just like the the experience of a lifetime, and I can't wait to do it again. Um, this year is going to be in uh, LA again, and that kind of kind of just got nervous because LA was 2018 and I'm like I'm gonna go five days ahead of time like this is this ain't happening again uh you know you never know what's gonna happen in Newark <laughs> that's oh, the, yeah. That's the <laughs> yeah, you can apply to Newark it, yeah right Newark uh in November 
not my not my plan. So um, yeah, I'm gonna make sure that I get a flight out a few days beforehand. You know, this so you piece, are competing this again this year. Two day yeah. thing. Oh yeah, am I supposed to keep that a secret? No. No, no secrets You're, over you here. You can reveal I, whatever you want. Is this an announcement on Natty News? We'll, you know, we'll take that. Um, right? This is an announcement. We're, we're, we're doing it here. Um, you know, I think people expect me to, but uh, it's, not a, it's not about, you know, it's not all about them. It's about, uh, I, I truly, honestly, Dan, I, I want to be the champ until as long as I can. And I know people probably say that, but like, I have this vision that I want to uh, fulfill. Like I'm very much like into my uh, spiritual and and just believing that like, I can't, why not me? I can do this. Why not me? Again and again, as long as I put in the work and I, and I uh, you know, make sure it just, it just happens. Um, you know, you never know the, the day of, right? But shit i'm gonna do everything i can that's for sure hell yeah mm -hmm. so was that did you it's a champion right you do you do it you do whatever you can do what champs do right but um so going into that show where did you think you were gonna continue to compete and go for it or did was it kind of after after you won you're like what's next what do i want to do and then you settled in or how, how did that go from last year yeah yeah um no i was like this is the start i'm like <laughs> i actually said uh, i said you know at 36 i'm just getting started and it's not i'm not old but you know it's like if i if i had this mentality and it's like it's not to beat myself up over it because like I, I definitely don't regret anything along this journey like getting me here uh, i'm here you know this is purposely you know at, at the right time um you know this happened and uh i'm just getting started you know most i guess most bodybuilders or you know natural bodybuilders they they uh retire when they get well, i'm like i'm not retired i guess the, the longevity of the sport in natural bodybuilding you know is is a uh, you know a lot more than than unnatural you know um i don't plan on retiring like this is yeah i'm just getting started oh yeah so. I'm, not, I'm not thinking that you were thinking about retiring but you know yeah. coming or, or like not doing like again like almost no. coming to the peak source so so to speak you know i yeah. i don't know how i would respond in that situation like coming out of that like to kind of hit that almost hit that peak and well that, i did i hit that peak and i was i don't want to say it was um I don't like to use the word depressed. It was just, I was in, I was in the feels <laughs> and I was in a moment for a long time. Um, so I definitely was like, this happened. And like, I guess the way that I um, respond to like big achievements or a lot of, uh, as much as I'm like such an outgoing person, a lot of attention or, you know, something like that, like a huge achievement like that is like, I definitely need to come back into my own space. So I, I literally was very, um, very particular about my time and my, um, and my whereabouts, let's say, uh, probably until March, <laughs> it was, it took a while. I was like in the slump, out of the slump. And I don't, it's not something you, you can definitely put your finger on, but it's just the way that I was coping with the energy that I felt and like, okay, where do I go from here? Cause I did ask myself like, yeah, because you're coming off an extreme what's high. Expected, yeah. What's expected of me now, yeah. you know, um, you know, of myself and of other people. Like I want to represent for my federation. I want to represent for natural bodybuilding. I have all these things. I'm like, Oh my God, finally I'm, I'm a world champion and I'm sitting on my hands. Like girl, get up do this you know like snap the <laughs> frick out of it <laughs> you know what you're doing do it um it just took some time i needed that time to you know settle down settle reset and yeah kind of yeah it was. I needed yourself. It. yeah and um yeah i, I don't I, again i don't i don't regret it was just that mind shift of okay we're doing this again you know like life goes on you know you have your business you're building your business you're building you're creating the life it's like ultimately i think i get um 
what do they call like like the, the like paralyzed you know what is that um I felt like I was sitting on my hands I was like paralyzed because uh just the just the way that I cope with it where it's it's so much and I know what I want to do I just what's the next like where do I go from here who do I talk to all this stuff so I, I kind of shut down a little bit I did I shut down a little bit but it doesn't change who I am I'm back yeah and then that level of body fat doesn't help either too right you're so damn emotional I'm like being a woman and being more emotional like <laughs> come on man <laughs> who comes up with this shit <laughs> this one is well at least coming out of prep I don't know about winning a world title and then coming out of it but you know eventually you kind of get back to normal get back to the groove of things and you know coming off yeah, of that, a, of I that. had um you know I wasn't I wasn't like interested in going to the gym I probably I went to the gym like every four days and I was so sore and then I was like oh I guess another four days you know it's just like this behavior and then I was like oh I gotta sleep a little bit more so it was kind of like a little slump but I had, I definitely had more like my highs and lows. It wasn't like that, that consistent energy that I usually have. Uh, but I just needed to take the time that I needed to and figure things out. Um, and I'm just, I'm happy I did. You, you know, seem like mentally I, reset, refreshed and yeah. ready to, you know, yeah, with thanks. plenty of time until yeah, is it November? For sure. November. It's November. You know, I might jump into a show beforehand. That'd be dope. Yeah, we might we might dabble in something though. It'd be fun. I said I said I I said in the beginning I like that um the old school look and I know Mr. America does that for figure. They do the the one piece figure. The one piece, yeah. I don't know. I love it. I think maybe I'm the only person that loves it. I love it. I think it's just it's just beautiful. I and had I, a great, I actually, great experience at that show. You what? I had a great experience at that show. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. I've never, I've never been. And you know what? I, I, it's close to home. I mean, my mom That's lives, true. um, my mom lives about like 40 minutes from Atlantic city. And it's, it kind of makes me feel like, um, 2014 again, where my first show is at my middle school is, is and close like, by. Yeah. Close to home. I'm like, okay, what do I do? Like, you know, so where are they holding it? This, cause it's, it was at the showboat last year. I, th I think um, I heard they, they migrated, which I'm a little concerned because the lighting they had at the showboat was like, spot on. it was the best lighting I've ever Thank God, we, we, we do have to step it up. With, That's something with we've stage, yeah, with I, the stage lighting it, and not yeah. for bodybuilding. We definitely need to step that up. Um, I know it's, it's difficult, but it's definitely needed. You just, the physiques are just incredible. The pictures don't do justice. It's just, oh my gosh. You well, know? That's what represents, you know, the state, you know, the, the whole bodybuilding. Um, it's, I mean, bodybuilding is a visual sport. So, I mean, you know, you got to nail the visual, which a lot of it is, is lighting, you know? I know. But, um, but I think, I think it's at Showboat again, unless it's Tropicana. I could be I'm wrong. I, I thought I had heard they might have moved it from the Showboat, but. I, I I could be I could be off on that. Don't don't take my word at that. No, I think but it's at the showboat and, uh, again, but it was at the Tropicana. Okay. Yeah, because I was like, I don't know what's at the Tropicana, okay. but the showboat they just had um, uh, what show was there? I think there was an OCB show. Yeah, they're running an OCB the show there too. Yeah, I forget which yeah, show it is I, too. And, and I was James happy to, to that see one. that there. Yeah, yes. yeah. But the light the lighting at that venue is is top yeah. notch. Yeah, they yeah. nailed it. With and the flag like, in the background and everything, it was right? like, yeah, yeah, it was excellent. It's like, we we definitely need more more of that. Yeah, that should be a staple venue, for sure. Um, I actually, like, I'm looking to um, myself, maybe, you know, in the future, in the next year or so. It's in the works. Lots of fun Something plans. in East Coast. We don't, we don't have, um, yeah, right? So now, after my little hiatus, uh, <laughs> You know, after March hit, I was like, okay, this is, this, this, you know, uh, this was, this was definitely on the list too. I'm like, so, you know, no, no time like the now. Um, but yeah, I would like to, we don't, we don't really have a, a IMBF, WMBF show, a pro qualifier in my area anymore. You know, it was um, uh, the, the local show that I did, you know, in 2014 was, you know, East coast, it was the Minettis and stuff. And, and um, I'd love to, you know, fill their shoes. 
uh, and bring it back. So yeah, from the work. Rob would be open to that idea. Yeah, yeah. You know why not? Because uh, you know we have a lot in uh, Massachusetts and New York and things like that, but nothing really. You know, with Jersey, got to represent. Jersey's where it's at. I don't know about that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about that. But... <laughs> That's not Come fair. On, chat. Man. <laughs> you got. You got to agree with me on something. <laughs> I can't agree with you on that one. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> I'll agree when I agree, but that one, no, sorry. But all right, fine. Agree to disagree. Anyways, anyways, <laughs> we're I think we're coming up on our, our time here. So yeah. uh, where can the people find you? Um, so I do have my website is actually under construction for the love of sweat dot com. It will be um, actually it should be done by Friday. I, I revamped this the whole thing. Podcast cool. will drop after that, so you're you're good. Oh, Perfect. okay, good. All right. So Go to the for site. the love of sweat dot com. And uh, you can find me there again. It's uh, fitness, fitness and wellness, fitness and, and active wear. Going to have all, all the goodies on there. And uh, otherwise, you can find me on Instagram. I do a lot on Instagram into into Facebook. And um, you know, I got my links all up there and the link tree and all that jazz. So, what yeah, is your Instagram follow. for the Shannon underscore for the love of sweat with the number four? It's a long one it'll come up right away when people go to search for me i'm like oh the long one <laughs> <laughs> it's a it's a long so yeah shannon underscore for the love of sweat and um yeah give me a follow give me a holler i love uh you know representing for the the bodybuilding community and just you know just the a fit and and you know healthy lifestyle overall it's just there's nothing there's nothing better than feeling um like you can just, you know, run a mile any day, <laughs> you know, <laughs> something like that. Like you can just you get up and go, you, you know, go. through, yeah, it's just uh, encouraging people to just know that there's, there's light uh, on the other side, you know, the grass is greener where you water it. So hydrate, hydrate, hydrate. <laughs> Drink your fluids, people. Right? <laughs> hydrate, yes. Yeah. Thank you, Shannon, so much uh, for, for coming on, take, taking the time to, to record with us tonight. That's or me awesome. tonight. Since yeah. Just, yeah. And so I hope awesome. to meet the other boys. Uh, you know, try to get the other fellows on. Well, you'll have to have me back. We'll, we'll have you back. Yeah. We'll yeah. have you back. That'd be cool. All right. Sweet. We'll line that up. We'll line that up. Sweet. All right. Thank I'm looking you. forward to it. Thanks, Dan. <laughs>